Welcome back to It's a Vase Productions, where today we're taking a look at Still Game Series 3, Episode 5. Oot. Uh, thanks for everybody that has been subscribing. Thanks for everybody that's been liking, commenting, making suggestions. Thank you to the people that have been checking out my music videos. I really do appreciate that. Uh, and I think everything's going really well. Uh, I've got tons of suggestions to look at, tons of things to react to. So I'm just going down the list. Definitely trying to keep Still Game going. I'm going to be working in some other comedy reactions where I can. And I'm going to be coming at you with more live streams, uh, more video games, and possibly some new music videos at some point. But again, all the ones I've already done are now out. So the main thing you're going to be seeing is reactions. But since that's what most of you want anyway, that's probably a good thing, right? So uh, if you haven't yet and you're enjoying the con content that's coming out, make sure you do subscribe because it helps me, helps the channel, helps more people find it and enjoy. So I appreciate that. Let's get to what you came here for, which is that sweet, sweet still game. That's the one I've got. Hey, that one there. That's smashing. Aye, that's the sharp 37 inch plasma widescreen. 100 hertz tube, wall mountable. It's the bollocks. What have you got? Amstrad. Washed out colour, all fuzzy around the edges. 14 inch tube, 20 minute warm up. It's bollocks. Oh, aye. <laughs> I see your dilemma. You see, it's just too wee, son. Have you ever tried to watch a big horse race in a portable, eh? Or the football? Hundreds of tiny wee men chasing about a ball that you can't even see. It's no use. I'm needing something bigger. So what are you after? Size-wise? Well, I don't know. I mean, how much would that there set me back? £2,700. Hmm. £2,700, right? <laughs> see, oh, I forgot. It's my arse that's lined with diamonds. Well, what about this one? Well, how, how much would that set me back? 599 How much were you looking to spend? 80 quid, max. <laughs> Aye, well... There's an optician next door. Get yourself a thicker pair of specs. <laughs> oh, here I Tom. Yeah, oh, here we go, burking hair. Shut your hole, Bobby. If we were burking hair, we wouldn't be robbing your grave. We'd be pissing in it. <laughs> <laughs> Bounce a lager, you prick, you. Aye, two pies and all. Two pies? Did you know get steak pie at the funeral? That's the only reason you go to these things, isn't it? Are you going to shut up? We were there to pay our final respects, that is all. Well, that's Billy Ferguson buried down. Aye, what's left of him? Bloody liberty, what happened to that man? Mm. What a way to go, eh? Heart attack. Bad for, deed. Lying at the back of the door eight days. Aye, right. Doug eats you. Boz first, then the face. <laughs> that's what Doug's do, apparently. Aye, there's nothing left of Billy when they found him. Mind you, the Doug had ballooned up to double the size. Aye, <laughs> well, fella Billy. Must be smashing being your age, eh? Wee pain doing your arm, dog sitting in the corner like that. Of course, you don't have to worry about a dog eating your boss, eh, Bobby? It's a wee fanny you've got. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you still looking for a hoose up your block? You should get on to the council, cos that's one line empty now. Uh, good call, boys. I'll get up there in water. Mm. Yeah. To Billy. To Billy. Billy. Right. Paint a lager, Bobby. Hello, lads. Oh, how's it going, Winston? That's Billy planted. Billy who? Billy knee, boys. What size was his telly? Who? Hey? Ugh. I was down the high street there looking at new tellies. The one I've got's no use. It's too wee. And? And I can't afford it, can I? They're too dear. I mean, how can they justify all that money just for a telly, eh? That's how I got this. You see, it says here, if you can't afford a big telly, you can build one. Well, that's what today, aye, aye. Oh, and see, while you're at it, gonna build me a nice big one and all oh, you daft. <laughs> Tit. He's laughing at eh? I mean, how hard can it be? If you've got all the bits, the wires and the plugs and the valves and all that. Valves? You didn't get valves and tellies anymore. It's, it's all things and electronicals. That's right, they've got the, um... The, the white light, the big white wow. I can't believe you two haven't been heat-hunted for Hitachi. <laughs> 
Mark my words. There's nothing to this telly building. Gonna get that for us, Victor. Hello, clansmen. John! Christ, I thought you were dead. How have you been? Smashing, I'll tell him right away. Cheerio, bye. That was John Logie Baird. He says you're an arsehole. <laughs> oh, I just trying to put together one. Yes. Sign for us. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Am I glad to see you. Hey, what is it? That, son, is a telly. In an envelope. That's right. Aye. Uh, right. Oh, Archie's coming out. Archie Taylor? Aye. You'll know want to go, but you'll want to stay in and watch your envelope. <laughs> no. I want to see Archie coming out. Where's my coat? Well, you want in the lift? Hey. You don't drive. Aye, I do. I've got a van. In here. <laughs> Bobby! Jack, Victor. What are you doing? You're coming in for a pint there. Oh, I know they knew you, no. I'm shot for the next half hour. For what? I didn't get that flat up your block. Archie go to it. Archie's coming out. What do you mean Archie's coming out? The councillor moved him so they can pull down his old building. You'll never guess. You'll never guess. Archie's coming out. Hi. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> I want to get up there early. Got a good spot. Got a good look at him. That's what today is, aye. How long's he been in there? Oh, he went in mid 60s, that right, Victor? Aye, mid 60s. That would be when you moved in, aye. I used to stay a couple of doors down from me, so. And he's never set a foot outside his house? No, complete hermit. What's he do for food in there? Well, the social services will pop up twice a week, make sure he's all right. Messages and that. Oh, aye. Social services. That'll keep him up to date with what's going on outside the world, old tip. Oh, aye, he's up to date, all right. Even the hermit knows you're a wanker, Bobby. Archie! 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 Oh, my God. Archie! 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 Come with me, son. They wasted. See you. Oh, hello! He didn't want to look at that fan wanker! Oh, no. Archie! Archie! Oh, that's the last you've seen in A2! <laughs> I, what, what if he died? Archie! 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 Here it comes! Archie boy! Jack Jarvis and Victor McDade. How are you? How are you? Hi, good. You used to have a load of black hair. <laughs> So did you. Aye. Funny. Coming out. Now, Mr. Taylor, your flitting's at three. Aye. We've got a car arranged for you. We'll take you over to your new flat in the Osprey Heights. Archie, that's your block. Aye, you'll be in with us. We'll organise a cup of tea for you and your furniture will arrive in a couple of hours. A couple of hours? Mm -hmm. Is the... Bay horse still out there. It's called the Clansman knew me. <laughs> I ain't it's still a shite hole. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, darling. Um, I I'm gonna go for a pint. Is that okay? Aye, of course. We'll uh, give you a lift. No. No, I'd like to walk. Uh, that's all right, darling. We'll, we'll keep an eye on him. We'll look after him. Okay. Here's your keys. He's been outside in forty Archie. years. We all clubbed to get him. We got you a big mac. And fries. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. Oh, hi. Thank you, son. Ah, oh. that was out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Hamburgers at McDonald's. McDonald's. Is that a butcher's? <laughs> <laughs> butcher's. No, it's a fast food shop. They've got them in other places now. I could get used to them. Yeah. You and 30 billion others. <laughs> yeah. See you outside. Aye. Where are the houses? Oh, they're all pulled in. Where are the people? All well, pissed off. Who's the Prime Minister? Christ, you don't know that either. No. 
Never get a paper. Some tip. No, I never take a paper. What about a telly? I put my boot through that 1966 World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard Jeff Hurst. <laughs> Stupid thing to do, really. Not at all, no. I lost a good wireless that day. <laughs> ah, you've got a lot of catching up to do, haven't you? What's that? These? No, no name, Bobby. They're optics. You've been about this before a Second World War. That. Or this? This is a microwave. A microwave? What does it do? Feel that. Hi. Cold pie. What's the sheet for? This is the screen. This way you'll see the picture. Well, explain to me again. How does the picture get your stupid wee telly onto the wall? For God's sake. Right, you Luddite. Now, the reason you can see the TV picture from the other side of the room is because it gives out what are known as lumens. So, what you do is, you build a box round your telly, harness the lumens, Magnify them and then you project them onto a blank white screen. <laughs> Voila! Big bastard telly. <laughs> Very eloquent. Very technical. Aye. And once this is finished, I'll be building another one. What for? Anybody that wants one. Because once you see this baby in action, you'll all be wanting one. <laughs> oh, that science has given you a big heed. <laughs> Shut up, Igor, and hit the lights. The monster is about to awake. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's no right. Who is that? Oh, that's a Kyle Minogue. Mm. Is he in your life? She's Toti. <laughs> You fit? No. I don't fancy coming out the day, boys. Hey? Oh, we're going to do all sorts. No, I'm feeling a bit tired, you know. Oh, come on. We'll get you one of them cheesy burgers you like. No, I think I'll pass on that if that's all right. Aye. Uh, fine, eh? See you now. Tarzan. You say Tarzan now? Hi, Tarzan. Hey, what about him? Well, there's Tarzan, right? He lives in the jungle. Brought up by animals, very, very sheltered. He only knows the Where's law that? of the jungle. Aye. Uh, he's wee pal, cheating a monkey. <laughs> Aye. Then he gets taken into civilization, but he doesn't fancy it. Uh huh. So he goes back to what he knows. He goes back to the jungle. That's smashing, Victor. You seem to know the Tarzan story. What in the name of Christ has that got to do with Archie? Oh, Jesus, Jack. 
Archie's Tarzan. I come here, don't talk a lot of pish. I think you're on about. Archie comes out, he doesn't fancy it, he's away back in. He's no more than a shaved monkey jack. <laughs> so Archie's Tarzan? Aye. Well, that would make his flat the jungle. Yes, sir. So who's cheating the monkey and all this? Nobody. Archie's about to hold himself up again. I know. We know the years have passed, millions of things have happened, and he's nane the wiser. Here, we'll go to the library, right? We'll get books, loads of old newspapers, and tell him every single thing that's happened for 1966. There's no need for that. What is it now? Right, Tarzan. This woman here wants a word with you. Jane. Because <laughs> <laughs> she... There's no need to get every book. <laughs> Navid. A home cinema in your front room. You could go for a pish and no miss half the flick. You could have a baby. See, it's my house. No couples practically shagging in front of you. Nobody at your shooter gab, gab, gabbing all the way through the film. Uh, take it, Ice is no invited then. No. Ah, quality. So, how much is this technology costing you? Tenner. Add me to your list of doubting Thomases. You are an idiot. Good. I'll see you tonight. The main feature starts at eight. <laughs> Here. And me too. You feel a bit better after you sit down, Eliza? I'm Jack. I'm. She's got a gob on her, hasn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, lads, for the first time, I'm actually enjoying being out. Good. Oh, that's smashing. Good up. So, uh, what made you become a hermit? Christ's sake, Bobby. I mean, you tacky boot it bastard, you. Yeah. Oh, it's all right, boys. The lad's just curious. I was evacuated to a farm during the war. A lovely big place. We out past Stirling. Quiet. It was an old couple who looked after me. Really old. It was great. Every morning I'd help him feed the animals. I had my own horse. The whole thing. Then we got news. My dad had been killed in Belgium. Four months after that, my mom dies of TB. I could have got him Uncle John's, but my Auntie Betty wasn't keen. Didn't have any kids. Must have liked it that way. So I grew up on a farm. And of course, they died. I. The farm didn't belong to me. The bank took it. I came back here and got a hoose off the corpy. Jesus, coming back to this place was like coming to New York. I mean, the place was jumping. There was cars everywhere, buses, music, factories, gangs around the boot killing each other. <laughs> I mean, coming back from a farm to all that, well, you know, it was just too much. Well, at first I was going out, you know, to the shop and that, but that winter I got pneumonia. And that's when the social worker got involved. They were bringing the messages, and that was it. Got better, but I never went out again. Mm. One year, a wee moose came, looking for scraps and that. I was encouraging it, you know what I mean? I was quite happy to run up your arm. I used to talk to it. <laughs> Sometimes I even imagine it talk back. <laughs> uh, every day it came, regular as clockwork. Then he died. So did they die? Aye, it died. I was having my cornflakes one morning, pouring them out into the bowl. It turns out he'd been gone every day as well. Regular as clockwork. The cornflakes had wee shit boys all the way through it. <laughs> Just set traps, snapped the wee bastards back. <laughs> Still can't look at a cornflake. <laughs> Cola day, Inavid. 
Aye, just a soft piece for me. Are you in? Uh, Aye, I'm in. Come away through. Still a couple of good seats left. <clears throat> hey, we've brought up to you, if that's all right. Of course. Here's some beer here for you, Winston. Good. I'll stick them in the fridge. Here, you come through here with me. Right, you like this. No. I bought this malt back in 1966. 14 quid it cost me back then. That was a lot of money. Aye, no half. I was going to open it when England get beat, but needless to say, it's still no opened. <laughs> Here's to you, old chum. Out and about. That's a really nice thing, Winston. That's a really nice thing you've done. Oot in a boot. Don't be touching that. I'm switching that on. What are we watching? The eight o'clock movie, Tower and Inferno. <laughs> Paul Newman's a fireman and Steve McQueen's the architect. Not damn, it's the other way about. Right, well I've one mare then I'm putting that away. No one the arsehole's getting it. It's Fred Astaire now in the Tower and Inferno. Aye. We well, don't talk pish. Fred Astaire wasn't he in the Tower and Inferno. Uh -huh. I'm sure he is. Ah, that's right, aye. He comes out and he goes like that. Pod on the new, the building's in fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Actually, Jack, he is, isn't it? <laughs> was something Tower and Inferno, 70s disaster classic. Starring Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, William Holden, and Fred. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> a minute. Seven thirty. Christ, Winston, here, hurry up! This place is Come on, hey, hold on, David. Up and get out your seat. Oh no, 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 that's all right. No, no, no. no. Shh. You up. You sit down. <sighs> this is rare. Right. <clears throat> now, gentlemen. What you're about to witness this evening... Shut up and turn it on. It's no that will no work anyway. I need the pish. Sit in your ass, <laughs> Gentlemen, prepare to be amused. <laughs> Let's get in. Relax, relax. It's just warming up. <clears throat> OK, it's a pile of shit. Whoa! Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, it's like a, like a picture hall. Oh, I don't know what to say. Ah, he's a clamp, isn't he? Now, what's happening here, gentlemen, is that the light has been refracted from the tube onto the Oh, lens. there he is, Fred Astaire. <laughs> Get it right up you, Jack. Oh, <laughs> shut, shut up. Shut up. Oh. Crystal clear. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the flames. This is a... Then a monster. Very realistic. Ah, you can practically smell it. Aye, that's because your curtains are on fire, Winston. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> big screen telly for the ten, are you? <laughs> Plus a set of curtains of Pelmet off a cap and a radiogram. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, but it could have been a lot worse. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> aye, aye. It could have been, I suppose, aye. Eh? <laughs> aye, well, this is my floor. <laughs> oh, thanks for a great night, lads. <laughs> oh, no. Jeez. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Bastards! You better phone the police. Well, no need the police. Name of Christ is all that. That's about 40 years' worth of social money. You should have that in the bank. Oh, no, be no. <laughs> you should have it in the bank, Archie. Aye. I know. Do you know that's a fortnight now and still nobody's seen him? Oh, well, he's not coming back out, is he? First time in years he sets foot out of his door and he gets his house tanned. It's a bloody liberty. Aye. Enough to turn them down to a hermit. It's a shame, too, because he was getting on so well. I was settling in nice, the pub and that. See, I don't think that's right, you know, locking yourself away like that. I've got a good mind to go up to his door and say something to him, eh? Ugh, I'm not so sure, Jack. Sure they're dragging him down the stairs. What are you going to say to him to get him out? Listen to you used to. Get him out to what, eh? 
Craig Lang, a shite hole of the first order. <laughs> I mean, it's all right for us. We're used to it. It's him for us, we don't know any better. But he's come out, he's taken one look at Craig Lang and all his occupants, us three included, and he's thought, stick that up your arse. <laughs> I mean, pals are few and far between at our age. I think we should be keeping a watch out for him, you know? Or at the very inside, go up to the door and tell him he's making a big mistake. Aye. Aye. Aye, you're right, Jack. Come on. Mm -hmm. Right, chap at the door. What about it, chap? But this was your idea. Ah, uh, you agreed with me. Get the bloody door, chap. You chap it. You chap it. Chap the door. Will you chap the door? Oh. Lads, look at you. Is it your intention not to come out again? Uh, before you answer, you'd be sadly missed. I mean, we were getting on really well. No, I'm not coming out, lads, again. But think about all you're gearing up. Like what? Well, there's us, the park, the tune, the clansmen. OK, forget the clansmen, but there's lots today. Lads, you're being lovely, but don't worry. I've been used to staying indoors all the years. That's what I know, that's what I'm comfortable with. Archie, how can you be comfortable with that? It's a miserable existence. Miserable existence. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't bank the money. <laughs> and I'll no go short of company. Oh. So you've made your mind up then? I have, Jack. I. One. Cheerio, lads. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I've left my bonnet in there. I'll get you a new one. <laughs> Who's this new? Is that? It's a parcel. You've to sign for it. Aye. Well, you better bring it in here. Stick it through here. Right. Stick it there. <clears throat> Dear Winston, thanks for the dram. Leave the telly building to the Japs. Archie. Oh, look, Chris. A telly in an envelope. <laughs> <laughs> a telly in an envelope. <laughs> leave, leave, leave the television building to the Japs. Oh, man. Pretty good stuff. Probably not the, the best of the best, but... You gotta save it for the series finale. It's still good, it's still good. Archie! If you're not coming out, can we not come in? <laughs> Lovely big telly! Uh huh. Any leather couches? Technically, you still would be a hermit, Archie. Aye, there's nothing to say a hermit can't have visitors, Archie. <laughs> nothing at all. Archie. <laughs> Well, I suppose that's that then, eh? Aye. Uh, I see a pint at the Klansman. Aye. <laughs> so I still don't understand why they couldn't have hung out at his place, but... Other than the fact that it's not something they're going to 
do in further stories, so there's no reason to, but why not? Uh, also, where did he get all that money from? I guess he just never goes out, and so all his money just is saved? I don't know. Still. Uh, definitely looking forward to the series finale and getting into season four. I think someone said that it was originally only aired in Scotland for like the first three series. And then after that, they started airing it to the rest of the UK as well. So it'll be interesting to see if that has any effect on the show itself. And then I know that he did take a long break after what season six or seven. And people have been telling me I was playing some Mad Max just recently. I started a new game of Mad Max. And I'm going to keep playing that for a while. Uh, but when I was playing that, somebody was mentioning that it's not as good when they came back because it was like a 10 year break. And so I was just saying, yeah, 10 years when you come back, not only are the people writing and acting in the show 10 years different, but like society and everything is 10 years different. So uh, the one person who I was talking to said it seemed almost like they were playing a parody of the characters. and He did not like it. But, uh, hey, give me your thoughts on that in the comments below. I still have tons of time before I get there, but it would be interesting to hear your guys' thoughts on that. And, of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. It helps me, and it helps me come out with more stuff faster. So, and, of course, if I get to 10,000 subscribers, my brother's taking me to Scotland. Another incentive. So... Keep those subscriptions coming. I appreciate it. Keep the comments and recommendations coming. Don't forget to like, and I will see you next time.